Hello children, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching my video. In today's video, we are going to do chapter 2 and in that particular chapter, we are going to do the face. We are going to cover the face, the different parts of your face and what do we call them, right? And we will try to start uh, the position of different adjectives right so uh, before i start the class i would like to say i know uh, all of you are trying hard to do your projects of the week and uh, i'm getting some calls and uh, messages as well but still i want that students who are uh, not doing it or not getting time to do it Please try to uh, take out some time and uh, perform, at least you perform yourself. Whether it is good or no, that's a, uh, that is something else. But try to do it, perform at least, so that I should know that you are listening to me and you are trying to connect to your teacher, right? So you still have two more days and I will wait till Saturday even. So all the very best. So, don't let me down. Okay? Then all the best. Let's start. And the visage is uh, face, you can say. So, it's page number 27. Le visage. Le visage. Le visage. Face. Okay? Then we have, first of all, le front. Le front is forehead. Le front, forehead. Right? Then we have le shower. Le shower. Shower say hair. What is it? Shower, hair. Right? Then we have loi elizio. If we are talking about one eye, then that would be loi. And if we are talking about the two eyes, both of them, then le zio. Le zio. Right? Then we have le nez. Le nez. Nez say nose. Nose. Le nez, nose. Then we have le bouche. Le bouche is called mouth. Bouche, mouth. Okay. Then you have here at the end le menton. Le menton, le menton is a chin. Chin, menton is chin. Now, come to the right side now. Uh, here you can see the le sursi. Sursi, eyebrows. Le sursi, eyebrows. Then we have here uh, le seal. Le seal, eyelashes. Eyelashes are called le seal. Right? Then we have here Lore. Ore is a ear. Right? If you are talking about two ears, les ore. Otherwise, you can say Lore. Lore. Then we have teeth. They, if one teeth is there, then la dent. If you are talking about uh, one tooth, is la dent. Teeth, les dents. Then we have la langue, tongue. I know uh, in French the language is also called long, but the tongue is also called long because whatever the language we speak, we speak with the help of your tongue. So that is why long is also called tongue. In English, we also say uh, this is my mother tongue. No, the ma uh, the uh, no native language. That is why la long say uh, 
the tongue tongue here right so these were the uh, some parts of your uh, no face in last class we have done the body parts and i asked you to do uh, to paste a picture or to draw uh, a boy's picture in your notebook and write down the different body parts now in the same way you have to paste a face in your notebook and label the different parts of the face right i hope you understood your homework now now come to page number 28 here it's a, in a beautiful manner they have described that how to place different adjectives as uh, i am sure that you have learned all the adjectives from your notebook or your book and there's a big list uh, in chapter 1 so that is now we are coming to know how to place them right la position this adjective la position this adjective the position of the adjectives right here we have noun this is the noun now they have uh describing that which type of adjectives comes before the noun and which type of adjectives will come after the noun right so instead of going through this i am taking help of the blackboard here so assume that this is a noun okay it's no or noun what comes before the noun and what comes after the noun it's avant means before and après means after right short descriptive adjectives comes before the noun like he is fat he is thin uh, this is a fat boy this is a thin girl like this and uh, we segregate these type of adjectives in a form of bags right i'll explain what mean by bags and here what comes after the noun that is nationality colors and shapes shapes or forms right nationality colors and shapes always comes after the noun and bags in bags we have b for beauty a indicates age goodness and size right nationality you understood if we are saying he is a uh, an indian boy then we say seta garçon and the end say the garçon and the end uh i am just giving you a hint here because i am not going in detail we are going to do it in uh, with the examples in the next video because uh we are having short of time now so i am just giving you uh the introduction for this topic this is noun and before the noun we have beauty then we have age then goodness and then size then nationality colors and shapes in beauty we can say beautiful ugly uh say beau joli mauvais then age with the age we can say he is old young and then goodness 
he is bad, he is good, he is right, he is wrong. Then we have size, he is tall, short, fat, thin, that all comes under the size. And for the examples, I will take in the next class. So till then, you have to revise the topic. Uh, firstly, you go through the uh, different parts of your face, paste a picture in your notebook and label them. After that, you have to learn what comes before the noun and what comes after the noun. And after that, uh, I'll explain how to implement this rule in the sentences. So till then, uh, enjoy your life, work hard and party hard. Stay safe, stay home. Bye.